First things first, I'm actually going to delete this old project. Bye bye. Sorry. Bye. Uh, that's because we're going to be we're going to be forced to set up new projects anyways. So it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. So now for the first time in quite some time, we're actually going to exit out of Eclipse. We don't need it right now. You're going to open up your web browser, Google libgdx, or you can go straight to libgdx.badlogicgames.com. Go straight to the website. You're going to hit download. So I'm just going to download the release, but I've actually already got it. Uh, so just hit on the latest version. I've already got it. So after you have already got it, go ahead and extract it somewhere. So what I've actually done is, in the main My Game folder, the one that contains the workspace folder, I've actually made another folder called Libraries. And in there, I've got libgdx and you know all the extracted stuff. So now what you're going to do is, you're going to go gdx setup UI jar. Give it a second. And now I think this is a good time to tell you what libgdx is exactly. libgdx is a library for Java. Um, you can think of a library as an add-on. It makes game development far easier than if you were to use just Java on its own without any libraries or add-ons. Uh, no one calls them add-ons, so don't don't call them add-ons. You, you'll you'll be considered quite stupid. And libgdx also allows you to export to uh, many different platforms such as Android, iOS, and HTML5, and of course the typical desktop. If you were to make a game in just Java, it would only allow you to export to desktop. So that's another big plus as to why you, we're using libgdx. Let's go and create a new project. We're going to create it here as opposed to Eclipse. First thing is the name of the game. Well, I'm going to name it my game again. Uh, the package com.evh 98.mygame. This, this oh my game. This is literally going to be the uh, main package that will contain the main class. So you you can make your own packages afterwards as well or whatnot. You know, as we covered covered in the last tutorial. Uh, so game class that's literally your main class. So I'm going to call it my game. Where do you want to extract? Where do you want? Where do you, you want to put it? Right? I want to put it in uh, workspace. Literally, just in workspace. All right. Now we've got this stuff. All right. Generate the core project. Generate the Android project required. Okay. So the core project is literally where all your code goes. The Android project is literally the project you just export. The desktop project is literally the project you export. HTML project is just the project you export. iOS project is what you export. So you're not going to be working with the Android project, desktop project, HTML project, or iOS project. Really, you just all your code will go in the core project. You'll see what I mean when we've actually set this all up. So, basically, just pick and choose what platforms you want. All right. So, um, even if you don't want to develop for Android, you are gonna have to, you know, have an Android project there. You don't have to, you know, release it for Android, but the the project will still be there. I'm just gonna generate all of these because why not? I'm gonna show some advanced settings. Uh, yeah, it all seems good. However, the target SDK version, uh, although you can change them later, I'm gonna I'm gonna change them now. The latest version of Android right now is target SDK version 18. That's for Jelly Bean 4.3. Uh, 17 was Jelly Bean 4.2, so I'm gonna go 18 Jelly Bean 4.3. Just so you know, we're on the latest version, of everything. Uh, even if you put 17, it'll still work on Jelly Bean, but you know, it's just better. May as well. Uh, so what else? Uh, you require libgdx, so you can either download stable or nightly. I'm going to download stable. Uh, any other third party stuff we'll need? Uh, we're going to be using the universal tween engine, so definitely get that. And may as well get the physics body editor loader. We might go through that, I don't know. But uh, we've got all of them, awesome. Now we're going to open the generation screen and we're going to launch. Give it some time and it's all done. We're going to hop back into Eclipse, we're going to go uh, import, sorry, import, <coughs> general, existing projects into workspace, select root directory, and we're going to browse, uh, we're going to browse down to our workspace, okay, and it'll find the uh, exported projects that we exported from here, uh, yeah, they exported, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, <laughs> um, and they're all found there. One of them that might be missing uh, is the, you know, iOS one. What, where's that? The iOS one you have to use uh, on Mac and it's a load of weird crazy shit. I'm not experienced with libgdx on iOS so 
Uh, you're not going to get much support from me on the iOS side of things. However, I will try and help you as much as possible, and you also got the help of the internet. For now, we're just going to focus on these four platforms, but, prom but I promise you we will talk about iOS. Alright, so for now, just, yeah, finish. You might have some errors or whatnot with the HTML version of the project, however, that can easily be fixed by installing uh, the GWT uh, SDK for Eclipse and whatnot. So just I'll leave this link, go set that up and all, yeah. And that should solve any issues or whatnot. Let's actually open up our main project file, I guess. This? No. We're gonna create our own one. Make sure it has the same name. Alright. It's gonna extend game. Import. So this is a game basically. And it's going to have this one create method and we're going to be done for today. Ah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope you guys are really excited about this and yeah, feel free to leave a like, comment. I'll see you next time. Have a fantastically brilliant day guys. Bye bye.